And that's all for Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Sorry, uh, I think my voice may have cracked a little bit. Um, yeah, the end of Xenoblade games fuck me up a lot, and I'm feeling a little emotional right now. It just, it's something that happens. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, more to the point, it's time to finally give my thoughts about this game and the Let's Play in general, which I think went pretty decently well, all things considered. Um, I know there are definitely areas on which I could have improved. Um, I feel like sometimes the quality of my commentary may have gone down with uh, certain areas of the game that are less than great, but... Well, that's a thing. I mean, I had fun doing it. I recorded pretty much the whole thing inside of a month, so obviously I must have had a lot of fun recording it. Um, and clearly I enjoy this game if it's driven me to play it through all the way uh, through a regular new game three times. So let's just break down uh, one by one everything about this game. Uh, starting with the graphics, which is an interesting subject for me. I'd say it rates about... I would give it a 9, honestly. Um, with graphics for me, it's less about the quality of the graphics or like how high-end it is and more about like the direction the art wanted to take, which I think this game had a really nice like look to it, especially with the environments. Uh, it could have stood to be a lot more colorful, I will give it that. But I did enjoy it and I do enjoy how big the Titans feel. Um, the only real criticism I can give with regards to that is one I feel like the world also tends to feel disjointed just because you can't really see your go to another titan uh, from whatever titan you currently on and I will also say that this game has a lot of graphical errors and uh, performance issues that kind of bring it down a little bit it's noticeable enough to where I'm not that big a fan but all in all it's basically a nine for me at least Music, easily a 10. The soundtrack is phenomenal. There aren't really a whole lot of tracks, if any, that I actively would complain about. And while I may skip past them in like a playlist or something, I definitely wouldn't be adverse to listening to them. I, I think it was really solid all the way through. Let's see. The story, um, honestly, I'm gonna give this one a nine. Uh. I realize it may not be, like, the best story, and Xenoblade games tend to be kind of cliched. <laughs> but, honestly, even for me, I think a lot of the time Xenoblade games, while cliched, present those cliches pretty well, so I would say I'm a fan. I really liked the characterization, too. Um, not just with the party members um, and how they grew over the course of the game, but also the villains, how... Uh, they were a lot more human and well-developed than they really initially appeared. I mean, even Malos, who was set up to be kind of like the big bad, really wasn't all that bad at the end of it all. I mean, the one that was really the villain in the end was Amalthus, obviously, who was pretty irredeemably a horrible person, but honestly, for what Amalthus was as a villain, I think it was pretty well off. A lot of people seem to not really care much for the story, but I think I think it did what it did really well. It didn't really... It gripped me, not as hard as Xenoblade 1 might have, but I do think it did grip me a lot, and I also think that it paced itself really well, which is all I can hope for. Lastly, the gameplay, which gets a 7 out of 10 for just how horrible the rare blade pulling system is. There's no reason to introduce that level of RNG into a video game. I'm sorry, but that's just unacceptably bad. <laughs> but for fighting, I really did enjoy it a lot. Um, it was an enjoyable time. The combat system, once I got a hold of it, it was really deep and compelling. And once I mastered the whole thing, the game became a lot more rewarding. I just think that when it comes to the gameplay, uh, the rare blade pulling system and the field skills pull it down 
a lot harder than it should be. I'm also really not a fan of the side quests in this game. They're somehow even more boring than they were in the first game. <laughs> so overall, I'd say Xenoblade is a 9.5 that unfortunately has just a few too many gameplay flaws to merit that rating, uh, which would give it an 8.5 in my eyes. Still a very solid game that I would recommend. But anyway, there's just a little bit more after this part that I'm going to be quiet for. I'm not entirely sure when it comes up, but I'll let the game handle things for a little while here. And that's all for Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicle 2. I had a lot of fun doing this Let's Play. I mean, obviously I did or else I wouldn't have done it. Whew. Like I said before, this was a very fantastic game. I think that had it not held itself back with its own gameplay design flaws, easily a 9.5 or even a 10 out of 10. Uh, for me, a 10 out of 10 is a phenomenal game that also passes the did it make it cry did it make me cry at the end test and uh yeah this game made me cry at the end <laughs> one of those i feel so emotional about the game ending that it just kind of makes me cry but i had a lot of fun doing this let's play series i hope you did as well if you are at all interested there is also a full text walkthrough that I myself wrote. It's on GameFAQs. I'll put a link. I've been putting a link in the description box down below. Uh, but yeah, so if you want to check it out, uh, go ahead and head over there. It basically outlines mostly what I did during this Let's Play. I kind of cut corners a little bit with this Let's Play since 
well, I know what I'm doing, but generally speaking, the, I think the Let's Play does, or not Let's Play, but the guide, well, yes, the Let's Play, but also the guide does a pretty good job of outlining um, how you can go about this game with uh, maybe not minimum effort, but definitely enough to where you can enjoy the video game more than you spend grinding for things. But anyway, uh, that's all for this episode. There's going to be several post-commentated bonus episodes coming across uh, in the near future. I'm basically going to outline things you can do after you beat the game, New Game Plus, uh, go over pretty much all of the side quests I've put off until now, and start doing Blade Quests, which are going to go into their own separate little playlist there. I may or may not have already started uploading to that playlist. I will link it in the video description and during the end of this episode and we're going to continue on from there but anyway i hope you enjoyed let's play xenoblade chronicles 2 i hope you look forward to the bonus episodes i have coming across and i hope you look forward to the next let's play series that i do for this channel thank you everyone for watching and i'll see you in the next let's play